perfect so let us start <clears throat> So what we have covered uh, yesterday is understanding first table, we created some table and we set for the table primary key and foreign key and we inserted record and we have seen what is the benefit we get from the relational database and its easiness. If you have any queries on this, you can please go ahead and type it onto the question window. Please keep typing your questions. Don't, you don't have to worry about uh, whether it will be seen by me or not. I will answer at appropriate time and appropriate place. Keep typing your questions. Don't feel shy. Yeah. So, understanding the table. First, we have created tables with the rows and columns. We have seen the syntax for the same. And using that syntax, we have created through the design window as well as through the script. And we have seen how to set the primary key through the design window and foreign keys. So what is foreign key? What is primary key? Primary key means only one primary key can be set for a single table. So a table cannot have more than one primary key. That is the first understanding. So what is the advantage of primary key? It ensures that the data is properly indexed. It ensures that the data you can is sorted in proper way. Usually it is a numeric field. Keep it as a numeric field for the better performance. Second, foreign key. If one primary key can have a uh, foreign key, it is nothing but a referred primary key in the other tables. There can be more than one foreign key within a table and foreign key can be mapped to the same table as well. I will show you those samples in my uh, session. I will just go to the MS SQL. This is my one of my project where we created the primary keys. I will show you those for your just understanding purpose. So in my, I am just going into the database diagram of my project. It is, it is one of our product in fact. I will just show you for item. Yeah. So I am just opening the diagram now. This is how it is related. Now what you see in my screen, right, it is nothing but the mapping of the primary key to the foreign keys. That's all. Nothing else I have done. I am just reducing the size just to view, to have a clear view of what it is. So these are all the tables, individual boxes that you see, these are all the tables and from this table there are a lot of informations or the lot of mapping happens to multiple tables. If you see the top table is mapped to almost all the tables in the screen except the table that you see here. Right? It is cap item issue. Except this table all entities are mapped to the primary table and this long table which is we call it as an item master it is mapped to several other table this is called relationship management so we are establishing relation to the main table the main table the key that you create is called primary key the referring table this primary key is referred in all the sub tables and those keys are called foreign keys. I will show you one more uh, sample for your understanding. I will go to project object explorer. So in this I just go to the list. It is simple. You can see now there is a join within this table. I hope you are able to see it now. So this cap account master, there is a self join. There is a self key. That means there is one called under account ID. This under account ID is mapped to the account ID itself. So this is what the foreign key is all about. Just for your understanding. 
So this is what we have seen yesterday. In a bigger sense, I just shown you this project. I will now go back to my PowerPoint. So this is what relational database is all about. And its easiness, we have seen it under multiple situations. One during delete operation, during uh, then we have seen during update operation. So how this relational database helps in viewing the data select operation. Right? Select when you don't have to put a join automatically you are able to refer the tables columns. So these are all that we have seen yesterday. And almost today all our projects, all our latest current trend projects are supposed to be a relational database. If any design is without a relational database, then it is not considered as a proper design. So this is one of the important part in the structural design. So developer generally goes with DBMS mode because it is easy for them because they can delete any time any record. So today what we are going to see is understanding database management system which is a previous version to the relational database how a select query manages the DBS so how you put an inner join or outer join and what is outer join left outer join full outer join right outer join so from this situation it is very important for you to practice so keep simple tables as I shown and once you understand that you can easily manage your interview questions or any questions that comes in the database database have very three important concept what is one to one table what is one to many table what is many to many table second how the tables are connected that is relational database if it is relational database how the behavior is if it is not a relational database how the behavior is from this you will easily understand what you need to test where you will have a problem where the developer might have created a problem so I am now going to the today's topic of understanding a DBMS so any queries please put it into the questionnaire uh, for people who has recently joined maybe today's session uh, make sure you have a recorded session available you can go through that recorded session uh, send a mail to the appropriate person right for any technical queries you can send the mail to the name that is appearing in the presentation sriramnk at softsmith.com right so let us go into what is DBMS how we make it without a relation so I am now going back to the SQL I'll go to the yesterday's project what we are having I'm also planning to send all the scripts so that you can view that script at your uh, place I'll send it as a class notes as well the PowerPoint also will reach you along with uh, the script that I'm preparing so today I'll make a separate uh, scripting system so I'll go to our project DB testing this is our project I can go to the project in two ways one is I select use DB testing this is one way of going to the project in this project yesterday we have seen there are two tables in this project so one we have created a state master country master and in this two table we have made a relationship so I want to, I like to remove this relationship. So you can see under keys, I'll just double click onto the keys. Right? That is called project details window. I can open the project details window as well. I'll just open it in the project details window. So into this object explorer details you can see now the keys that we have established for this country master you can see pk country master so this is the key that we have established under country master i open the state master you can see the keys there as well there are two keys now 
one is PK state master, another is FK state master versus country master. If I want to open this FK state master and country master, I double click it. Uh, what we are using is MS SQL. You can see this window. This is the window which establishes the relation. Right? This is the one which establishes the relation. I just opened it. You can see now the primary key table country master, state master is country ID. I now delete this key. There is, there is no primary key, foreign key now. I deleted this key. Once I delete it, I just clicked on delete. I close it. Even though these are all not your responsibility, but for understanding, you need to be aware of all this. When we take an exclusive SQL session, you will be going through the complete DB as per the DB structure. Right now our aim is on DB testing. Since it is a DB testing, you are not responsible for creation of a database or, or establishing a foreign key or a primary key. But you should be aware what is the problem that causes if I don't set a primary key or a foreign key. That's very, very important. Now, I have saved the file. Having saved the file, you can, now the connection strings are removed. Now, I go to the connection diagram. This, you can see now the connection is removed in the connection diagram. And these two tables are now independent. Primary key doesn't have any role to play now. It is independent to each table. There is no relationship between the country master and the state master. What is that it causes? What is the problem it causes? Let us let me go to the query window now. Let us now try to create some more data into the country master. I open the query window now. I try to now select star from India, sorry, country master. I have created country ID. Now what I am trying to do here is, I insert one more country, insert into, right, country master table name. There is a syntax. What is the column that you want to insert? Country code I want to insert. What is the, so another column, country name. I want to insert these two. Created on and created by is a, uh, allows null, so I don't have to worry about. Second, I am now, what values I like to insert? Values. What is the value that I like to insert? So I will say now, uh, Bangladesh B A N. So all strings has to be within quotes. Here the single quote is a, a string and uh, created as a string. So in Bangladesh, I want to create a country name, say Bangladesh. I just created this. I now insert this country inserted the value so one row got inserted i like to now insert two states within bangladesh so i'll now go to the state master i don't want to disturb yesterday's record so that is why i'm creating new record and also you will become familiar with the syntax of insert as i do repeat it so in this i now insert into state master column name state code followed by state name separated by comma open braces close the braces then values i have yet to take insertion of multiple values into a table that i will do it as we go so i'll just put a state called state one so st underscore one I allow this then state one is my values ensure that values also within the braces and number of columns has to match 
for the insert. I am inserting now. Also, I need to insert a country ID here. So, I will insert a country ID now. Now, even I can insert without a country ID. Yesterday, if the country ID allows null, it will allow you. If country ID is not, doesn't allow null, it will not allow you to insert a, without a country. Now, I just put a country ID as 3. Since it is a numeric, I don't need a quote. So, I insert the state master now. Make sure the number of commas are matching, number of columns are matching. Now I insert it. Now I go back to my country master. Here I can, what I can, sorry. I copy the same. I now run this. Can I now delete? Delete from country master where country ID is 3. Yesterday it was not allowing when the sub records were there. Whereas today when I execute it deletes that record. If I delete this record what will happen to my state master which is mapping to the country ID. You can see that is already mapped to the country ID 3 and this country ID is not available over here. This country ID is not available over here. So what will happen to my query? This is where the problem starts in the real time, reality. So I am just showing you both. You can see now the country ID 3 is not available in the country master but it is referenced it is referenced but it is not available this is a typical problem that arises when people doesn't follow the relationship management relationship database management system is a very very effective system but developer when they are coding they have frequently edit the record they have to change the record they are doing a unit testing just it since it affects them they will generally say they will think of putting the relationship at the later date and then they try to code it then later they forget nobody reviews the document it is supposed to be covered in the unit testing of our normal testing standards and unit testing just gets skipped off and these are all the problem causes for real reports when it comes to the